Hi, I'm Laura Barnes. I'm an instructor here at LCC and today we're going to talk about what to do with test anxiety when you are in the test and in the room actually facing that anxiety. Now, I'm hoping that before you got in the room that you made sure you had a good breakfast, that you had a good night's sleep, that you've had some water so you're hydrated, and you've brought some chewing gum so that you have something to distract yourself with. When you come in the room, avoid the people who are the naysayers and who are putting the test down. You don't need their energy. You want to sit a little off to yourself where you can sit and relax, sit comfortably, make sure though you sit up straight, and take several deep breaths, breathing in through your nose, holding it, and then slowly letting the air out. And I mean a deep breath that goes all the way down to your belly button, okay? Because the deeper you breathe, the more oxygen you bring in to relax all of your muscles, and it brings oxygen to your brain so you can think a little bit better as well. Make sure as you come in, you have the right materials, paper, pencil, test book, paper, whatever it is that you need, make sure you've set them aside that morning so you can bring them with you. Um, when you get in there and the test is now distributed, make sure that you read the entire test over very carefully. Lots of times students read the very first thing, get started on it, and don't know what's coming on that second page. And what's on the second page may need more time. So always look the entire test over and generally start with the easiest part first. That's going to build your confidence and it's going to help you to remember more material. If you hit a question where you don't know the answer, don't panic. Skip over it, keep going, because often you're going to find that hints and clues to that answer are a little bit farther along in the test and it'll stimulate your brain and you will remember it. On multiple choice questions, always cross off the two answers that clearly are ridiculous and won't work, and then carefully read the last two answers that are probably pretty similar. But watch out for words like always, only, most. Those are called qualifiers, and it's sort of a, a clever way to essentially knock out an answer that's wrong because it's qualifying the information too much. If you need practice with test questions, you can always go to your instructor and practice them ahead of time. We often have lots and lots of books of test questions, and so talk to your teacher, talk to your tutor, and you can do perhaps some practice tests to learn techniques to take multiple choice tests. In an essay, always read it over at least two times, and then underline the part of the question that the teacher wants. Don't tell them what you know, Tell them what they want. Lots of times students write about tangential information that's very good, but it doesn't answer the question that the teacher has asked. So look for the key part of the essay, and then you'll be on the right track. If you're really anxious when you first sit with that test, you can always, on the margin, write down any important formulas, words, terms, or an outline to, again, write down the information that you know best and then be able to refer back to it as you're you know, doing your answers. Anything that helps you remember something more quickly, do that for yourself. Nobody's going to mind that you wrote in the margins as you're trying to take care of yourself. And again, if you pull a blank, skip the question and come back. Then when you come back, write whatever comes to your mind, okay? Because the very first thing you're likely to write down is a correct answer because that is all you know. So lots of times when you're not confident, it doesn't mean you don't know the information. So take your time, read it slowly, budget your time through the test, and when you start having that anxiety, again, you wanna stop, take some deep breaths, chew your gum. Uh, if you have to, go up and sharpen your pencils so you kind of break your anxiety a little bit. And if you're having true difficulty, you can start doing self-talk. And this is where you say to yourself, okay, anxiety, I know I'm worried. Give me your best shot. Come on, let's have an anxiety attack right now. Now that may sound silly, but fighting anxiety and saying, oh no, not now, not now, actually makes you more anxious. But saying to yourself, well, if I have to have an anxiety attack, I guess we'll have it. The more relaxed and welcoming you are to anxiety, the more it is, it's gonna go away because it's not fighting you anymore. So use the anxiety 
and use it as a tool to chew on gum, to just kind of shuffle in your seat and get more comfortable, and you'll be okay. Invite anxiety in. And remember, if you're stuck, keep writing. Action fights anxiety. So keep moving on the test, don't stop, and you really will do much better than you think. As you calm yourself down, chances are more answers are gonna pop right into your brain. Take care of yourself, be good to yourself. And when it's over, don't second guess yourself, don't judge yourself, reward yourself. You got through that test, you did the best that you could, and take what worked well and use it on the next test. And again, use the resources we have here at the college because we're here for you to be successful. Thanks.